Well, a Hartford mom is about to send her 10,000th care package to the troops. She's been doing this for more than a decade. Rebecca Clough tells us the story of what inspired this mission of love. It's new at 10. Leanne Bowdwine started wrapping up items to send to her sons overseas, but when she found out men and women serving our country never received care packages like this, she made it her mission to change that. While our military serves overseas, this group of volunteers has their own plan to export some holiday cheer. We're going to start filling boxes tonight. We're 142 care packages away from 10,000. That number has taken more than a decade of filling boxes to achieve. Gallon size bag of candy. Leanne Bodwine started sending these items of comfort to her sons. It cost about 17 bucks per box, and she soon realized not every military family has that option. A lot of soldiers are supporting their families at home, and they're not able, the families are not able to do this. So Leanne is. She takes donations from the community, everything from food to personal care items. She's going to get a rejuvenating mask and she's going to get some deodorant. And volunteers pack up the boxes year round. Some former military themselves. Chris Bergstresser brings his sons to help out. To understand where their freedoms come from, you know, uh, understand that, hey, uh, we need to support them because they're over there fighting for us. Others, including the Stelzers, have seen their nephews get sent items. Um, he thinks it's really neat that he gets a part of home. Which is why Leanne might hit package number 10,000, but that's nowhere near the end for her. I'll do it for as long as I can. They always need help getting these packages filled. You can donate items at various places around Hartford. Otherwise, they always take monetary donations, and we've got all that information on our website. Reporting in Hartford, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4. Heartwarming. Yeah, what Hartford. a nice story, huh? Yeah. yeah.